Hi, welcome to this video on dividing polynomials. In this video, we'll be learning about how to divide polynomials. And we need to know what is a polynomial. So, starting off this video, I've put up the Google definition for a polynomial in maths. So, a polynomial is an expression of more than two algebraic terms containing different powers of the same variable. So, what does this mean? So, an example of a polynomial can be x squared plus 5x plus 7. This is a polynomial because it consists of two algebraic terms, at least, and with different powers. This is to the power of 2, this is to the power of 1. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to use this to divide by another polynomial. Okay. So, our example is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so we're going to divide this by x plus 3. And how do we do this? So, x squared divided by x. You should get a result of x. And then, you multiply x times by x. So, you get x squared... And now you go x times 3, which is 3x. And then you subtract. So, when you subtract, you get 5x minus 3x, and you get a result of 2x. And, um, by the way, x squared minus x squared cancels out, so that's why we're left with 0. And then, plus 6 is left, because... Uh, there's nothing there, so that means it's 0, and we keep the same result. So now, 2x plus 6. So we get we take this result and divide it by x plus 3. So 2x plus 6 divided by x plus 3. We'll, t we'll do this in parts. First of all, 2x divided by x. Um, 2x divided by x. Um, you should get a result of 2 as the x's cancel out and give you 1 which 2 over 1 is equal to 2, and that's how you get 2. Okay, so should be plus 2, because 6 divided by 3 gives you 2. That's how I got the 2. And now you go 2 times x plus 3. So that's, that's straightforward. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. And now, you have to subtract again, and now you should get 0. So, you have a remainder of 0, and an answer of x plus 2. Hmm. So that's your answer. Okay. Well. Okay. So let's do another one. Let's do 6x squared plus 11xy minus 10y squared divided by 3x subtracted by 2y. Okay, this one's uh, quite hard. So we're going to do this um, slowly. So first of all, 6x squared divided by 3x. That's the first thing you need to do. See if this works. So 6x squared divided by 3x. You should get 2x. And it's, always, it's a good idea to check sometimes. You take the result you got and times it by 3. You times it by uh, the divisor. So 2x times 3x. And if you successfully get 6x squared, you know what you've put at the top is correct. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then x times x, x squared. So 2x is correct. And now, um, you do 2x times by 3x minus 2y and you should get 6x squared subtracted by 4xy okay I'll explain how we got this so we take this and we've multiplied this by this 3, 6x squared you know 3 times 2 is 6 and the other part 2x times uh, minus 2y you can write out here So, 
you have to, as you see, there's a, a, uh, a negative. So we take out the negative first, and 2 times 2 is 4. And now uh, you're left with x and y, so x and y. So it's minus 4xy. And now you have to subtract. So you just subtract this by this. And 6x squared minus 6x squared gives you 0, so you don't need to write anything. And now 11xy minus 4xy. But when we write this over here, you need to look at this. Uh, you need to watch out for the negative sign. So when you put a negative and a negative, you get a positive. So it would result in 15xy. Make sure not to multiply x and x and y and y, because in this case, it's been uh, added. The algebraic term has been added. I mean the variable. So you don't multiply, so it's 15xy. So 15xy and um, minus 10y squared. And there's nothing here, so we leave it as minus 10y squared. And now we take our result and we divide it by 3x minus 2y. And you should get, if we do this by parts, we'll do this part first, divided by this. Um, the first part divided by the x. Just, so first of all, if we were, if we write over here, fifteen x y divided by three x. I recommend doing this as it as it's a better way to make sure you get the answer right. So fifteen divided by three, you get five, and then x divided by x cancels out one and one, and we're left with y at the top. And that's why that's your answer. So it will be plus plus five mm. five y. Okay. Mm. So so now minus ten y squared divided by uh, mm. So, uh, minus 10y squared divided by this. So, in this case, when you do uh, minus 10y squared uh, divided by mm. 2y squared, um, it's not needed in this case because we've done, we've done 15xy divided by 3x. And this part cannot be divided by the first um, part. So we leave it like this. So now this is what you do. You go 5y times this function here, this part here. So you get 15xy subtracted by 10y squared. Subtract. You should get 0. So that's your answer. Hmm. <coughs> So thank you for watching, so hopefully you enjoyed this video on dividing polynomials, subscribe for more math content, and bye!